Pro Group Management. Workers Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Robert Tellis took the stand once again during his murder trial today, as well as other witnesses called by the defense. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7 tonight. I'm Lena Bleets. Robert Tellis is done testifying in his defense in his murder trial after three straight days on the stand. Tellis addressed the jury during the redirect phase of his testimony and answered questions from prosecutors. Tellis continued to insist he's innocent and argue that he was framed by a real estate company over an alleged kickback scheme he reported to authorities. At the end of the day, you're just the victim in this whole thing. Is that correct? Yes. The defense rested its case today and closing arguments are expected to begin on Monday. Now to your top story sponsored by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. The family of a murdered Ely prison inmate is desperately seeking details as to what led to his untimely death. LVRJ reporter Estelle Adkinson has been following this story and has the latest. In April, a man named Antonio Talavera was stabbed to death inside Ely State Prison. His family was notified only that his death was ruled a homicide. And since then, they have way more questions than they do answers. They've been trying to get a hold of records that might explain what happened to their loved one, like his autopsy report, which Clark County finally released but heavily redacted. Violence in the prison is an issue that Nevada Department of Corrections has said is on their radar, but violence has been on an upswing lately after an increase in gang activity. For more on this story, visit LVRJ.com. The Nevada Gaming Commission made an unusual approval of a gaming license for a property that doesn't have a single slot machine or table game. Commissioners unanimously approved licensing for Eric Knowles, the general manager of the Tropicana, which closed in April. The commission feels Knowles is the perfect person in place for what happens next for the strip property because of his experience opening four Las Vegas resorts. Knowles said his primary responsibility now is preparing the Tropicana for an early October implosion. Former President Donald Trump made a campaign stop in Las Vegas today. This marked his first trip to the city since his assassination attempt. If we win Nevada, we're going to win the whole thing. Trump discussed his no tax on tips campaign proposal, which he first unveiled in Las Vegas in June. Governor Joe Lombardo, both Nevada senators and Vice President Kamala Harris have all also expressed their support for eliminating taxes on tips. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your gardens partner for every blooming thing. The red flag warning is set to end at 11 p.m. tonight, and we're looking at an overnight of 74 degrees tonight and a sunny weekend ahead in the 90s, high of 97 and low of 73 Saturday, and high of 96 and low of 71 Sunday. Then looking ahead to next week, high of 99 and low of 76 on Monday, then back up to triple digits for the rest of the week, where highs are expected in the low to mid 100s and lows in the high 70s to low 80s, and we could see some clouds roll in in the back half of the week. In Business, brought to you by G-Bank, your best banking experience ever. The Las Vegas Valley's office space vacancy rate continues to rise, but one local broker isn't worried. According to experts, the rise in rent costs are a reason for the vacancies. Also, that more companies and businesses are choosing to do remote work instead of using an office area. Office space vacancy has been on a steady climb in the Valley since the second quarter of last year. Almost 47 million square feet of office space is available in Vegas. Sports brought to you by PT's Taverns. With over 65 locations, there's a PT's near you. Visit PTsTaverns.com. Three UNLV football players are on the Senior Bowl watch list, college football's postseason all-star game, which is also widely scouted by all 32 NFL teams. Wide receiver Ricky White III, safety Jalen Catalan, and cornerback Tony Grimes were all included this year. White had close to 1,500 receiving yards last season. Catalan comes to the Rebels for his first season after playing for Arkansas and Texas. Grimes transferred in from Texas A&M this season. In Health, brought to you by Centerwell Senior Primary Care. Discover primary care focused on you. 
According to the National Eye Institute, more than half of all Americans aged 80 or older either have cataracts or have had surgery to get rid of cataracts. The only fix is surgery that fortunately Medicare covers. This coverage can help you save since cataract surgery often costs about $1,800 to $2,800 per eye. Cataract surgery is an outpatient procedure covered under Medicare Part B. If you have a Medicare Advantage plan rather than original Medicare, you'll also have coverage for cataract surgery. Vegas Nation brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. The Raiders' final preseason game likely won't feature any starters. Rather, it'll serve as an opportunity for head coach Antonio Pierce to evaluate players on the bubble and decide which of them may or may not make the team. They must reduce their 90-man roster to 53 by Tuesday, August 27th. It's never easy. I don't think it's ever easy telling a gentleman, you know, they don't have a spot here. Sometimes it's just not your year. Might not be a fit. It might be a roster number. It might be a situation where you draft the guys at that position, wherever it may be. I don't look forward to it, but it's part of the business. We all understand that. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The final week of NFL preseason has a lineup of 10 games this weekend. The most lopsided matchup on the STN app this Saturday features the Lions as seven-point underdogs against the Steelers, who are minus 300 favorites on the money line. The Rams are also underdogs, getting four and a half points against the Texans and are plus 175 on the money line. The final preseason game takes place Sunday between the Patriots and Commanders and Washington are four point underdogs with the total set at 33 and a half. In your lifestyle news, brought to you by LV Craft Shows has been bringing you the finest craft and gift shows since 1999. Visit lvcraftshows.com for our upcoming events. An iconic Vegas attraction is now just a memory. The Mirage Casino Hotel's volcano is quickly being torn down as demolition continues in preparation of the property's transition to the Hard Rock. The 34-year-old resort closed July 17th. A cursive script sign that sat in the Volcano Lagoon will be one of the Mirage's artifacts displayed at the Neon Museum. Now for entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's with live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Film studio executives are eager to expand their industry in Las Vegas, but one thing could stand in the way. Sony is partnering with Howard Hughes Corporation for a proposed 31-acre production campus on Town Center Drive near the 215 Beltway. This comes after Warner Brothers proposed building a local $8.5 billion film studio. Both developments rely on the outcome of a state legislative proposal for film tax credit that could create up to $95 million in yearly film tax credits. Thanks for watching 7 at 7 tonight. Be sure to tune in for our continuing coverage of the Robert Tellis trial next week. Watch 7 at 7 twice a day, Monday through Friday, and search Review Journal to follow us on your favorite streaming platform. See you Monday morning for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.